Good morning, everyone. So I was up bright and early this morning. I was up at 5.45 because preseason has started. I am a volunteer coach at my local high school and the double sessions have started. So just finished first session. It went pretty well, but um, you know, things to work on, things to improve on. So I'm pretty excited about that, but I love soccer season. Um, I've been playing since I was four. And so staying involved with it is just very important to me. Um, but now we have a breakfast for all of the seniors to talk about goals and things they want from the season, expectations, things like that. So I'm gonna head over and have the meeting with them, make a couple of pancakes, and um, then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do in between sessions. And our second session is around like three this afternoon. But good work rate, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Good morning, everyone. So, I got like no footage yesterday because during this preseason time, it's kind of like all soccer all the time. So, I don't really get a ton of footage. I'm doing it again today, and then <clears throat> tomorrow and Thursday, I'm actually working. So, this week is kind of difficult footage wise. Um, I got home kind of late last night. I think I got home around 7 or so, which I've been out all day, so that's later than normal. Um, and just needed to catch up with Alex and we just ordered a pizza because we were both exhausted. Just went to bed. Um, but it is um, just past six o'clock in the morning. I need to make some breakfast to go and head out to our first session. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to see you guys in between sessions today. So sorry if there's not a ton of footage this week. I'm going to combine yesterday and today because it was literally just me saying hi to everyone. And uh, hopefully I'll get more footage. See you guys then. Hello everybody, so I'm in between sessions now. Um, I just came home and just took like a body shower. It's really, really hot today. It's so hot in fact that we pushed our second session back a few hours. So instead of it being at three, it's gonna be at five. So I have some time now in between. Um, Alex and I like panic cleaned downstairs. He um, has some um, shirts that he made for work. Well, he had made for him for work. And so he's actually downstairs right now trying those on with the guy that makes them. Um, and I'm thinking I might take a nap, but I also really want to film a video. It's going to be so hot in my filming room though. So I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. Um, but right now I am just out of the shower. I'm having a little snack. Um, I'm going to clean up around here and do a little bit of laundry. I just got one of these little containers that like you see at the salon. It's got this like pump top and I just got some more nail polish remover. I'm going to put it in but like it makes me, makes me like oddly excited. It's like a simple contraption that I never really thought of purchasing because I tend to get nail polish all over things that I shouldn't get it on. Um, so I'm hoping this will help. And I also maybe thought about getting another one um, for maybe like toner or something, but I think I'm just being overzealous. But I'm really excited about this. I'm hoping that it will work out and I won't get the product everywhere anymore.
would say super success. This thing is really cool and convenient. I can, you know, it's nicer to look at on my countertop that I have here. So if you guys can find one, I just find that one at Target and it was like $2 and change, which really isn't that bad. So if you guys are looking for a nicer way to display slash dispense your nail polish remover, I would go find one. So I just woke up from a like two hour nap. Didn't mean to take a two hour nap, but I've just been so exhausted. Waking up at 5.30, um, 5.45 for practice gets pretty draining, so I just slept longer than I intended. Um, so I have not had lunch, so now I think I'm going to heat up some leftovers. And I'm trying to find my sunscreen so I can put it on before practice. Uh, but it might be in my car. Whew. I don't feel super well. I mean, it's really hot. Um, it's supposed to be a high of like 93 today. And it's currently 83 in the house. Um, so I think I'm just overheating a little bit. So I'm going to get a bunch of water as well. When I woke up though, um, the candle I had burning in the living room was still burning strong. Um, I forgot to tell Alex that I had lit it. And so when he left about an hour ago, um, he didn't know to blow it out. So luckily, nothing bad happened there because that literally could have been disastrous. So much sports equipment in the back of my trunk. I can't get it anywhere. Okay. It's not there, which is good that it's not in my car. Oh, I'm uh, gonna keep looking for that and just reheat some leftovers so I can have a little bit of food. Maybe that will make me feel better. Um, and drink a bunch before the start of practice. So now that I have my lunch, it is these leftovers. Um, I'm hoping they're not past date. No matter what I do, I can't get the zucchini lasagna to look good. But now I've got to plan practice um, and this is everything that I sort through every day these are all of the drills and practices that I have done over the past three years so I just kind of look through these um, I have a little bit of a handout and a small book here that I look through to come up with practice every day um, I need to organize it I need to get them into some sort of a collections that they're sorted correctly so I can figure it out but I'm gonna figure that out um, watch some YouTube videos and then I will be off to practice so it is really really freaking hot it's 95 degrees right now um, practice is gonna be a little bit challenging take it really easy on the girls and on myself I already don't feel super well from the heat um, so this is going to be a long one, and hopefully I will see you guys after. So, um, just got out of practice. I don't even know if you guys can hear me right now. Um, we ended practice early because of thunder. And then as I was driving back home, it has turned into a full out, like, absurd, crazy storm. There's like... 45 to 50 mile per hour winds, there is lightning, there is so much rain that it is, there's like standing water on the road. But if you look behind me, oh you can't see it anymore. The sun was out, but like, can you see how much it's raining? It's just, it's just crazy. Like look at it pour off of the truck there. It's just absolutely downpouring. Um, I'm trying to pick up just like a few things for dinner, but I don't think I want to leave my car just yet. So we are going to sit tight uh, and hopefully it will pass soon. But like, look at this tree. 
I don't even know if I can get it to focus on the tree. Okay, now. But they're like blowing everywhere. They're blowing around, it's blustery, and I was going like 40 on the highway, um, and like it's usually maybe 55, 60 on the highway. And we were going like 35 or 40 because there was so much standing water. So I'm gonna wait this out, but hopefully I can grab stuff and uh, bring it over here. So if you saw, it was very much daytime when I got here and now it's like really, it's not even showing as dark on the camera, but it is very much like dark time. And I don't know if you guys could see <clears throat> the lightning in that, but it was there. It was uh, still lightning, still storming. And yeah, so I finally got the stuff. The rain led up enough for me to get inside, but now I'm gonna head home so we can start making it. So, it just poured, right? Gotta love automatic sprinklers. It just seemed, I wish they had like a water meter on them. Like, hey, it just rained. Or like, hey, the soil is super soaked. Don't turn on. I think they would make something like that, but uh, nope, they're raging. Okay, so obviously I just got home, but I picked myself up a little snack at the grocery store because I was a little bit hangry. It's almost like it's like eight o'clock. Yeah, it's eight o'clock, so I'm hungry. Alex isn't gonna be home for an hour, so I needed a snack for dinner. If you guys would like a new super addictive chip, these kettle cook lattice cut in the roasted garlic and sea salt flavor are amazing. I just grabbed them and they're like addicting. They don't have too much, like they're not like overly flavored, but the texture of the lattice cut is so good. So if you guys would like a new fattening snack, I would go and get them. Um, I'm gonna try and prep as much as I can for dinner so that when Alex gets here we can just and go. Okay, so we have dinner accomplished. Um, we just do like easy rice, Santa Fe rice. This is like a sesame mustard salmon. I don't really know. Alex's mom came up with the recipe. Something like that. Something like that. And it's amazing. It's what we do every time. And then some green beans left over from my dad's garden. And we are going to watch our new show, which is like a Boston medical show just follows all of like the calls and the injuries that happen. Um, we're super into it right now. Just started watching it like two days ago and it's super addictive. So we're gonna watch that and then call it a night cause I gotta be up early again tomorrow. Um, I'm working all day tomorrow. So like in between sessions. So I'm not sure if I'll get any footage, footage again. Um, I might have to combine two days again. So thanks for sticking with me, bearing, you know, through the lack of footage, but I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow, um, but if not, then very soon.